Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope all are doing well on the Sunday morning. I'm driving my car and I'm off to do a little errand and I thought about a, a scripture and I thought I'd do a quick video on it. And I'm, I was thinking about how the scripture says, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord, hallelujah. And I was just gonna share this scripture with you. It's found in chapter two of Philippians. I'll start at verse four. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and think of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And I was thinking how every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. You can either bow the knee now and you can, as the scripture says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we have the opportunity to receive the gift of eternal life, thank, thanks to the, the, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was in heaven with his Father. And he came down. See, God loved us so much that he sent his Son into the world to die for the sins of all mankind. And, the, and Jesus came down. He was rich in heaven, but he came down. He took upon the form of a servant. And he did that just so we could have the opportunity to be saved. He loved us so much that he came from heaven. He, and he lived the perfect life. And he, he, all the sufferings that he did at the cross. And he shed his innocent blood just so you and I could have an opportunity to be saved and inherit the gift of eternal life to escape that death sentence that we have amen and we can, we have the opportunity to inherit the gift of eternal life but every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord if you read in John chapter 8 I believe it's in chapter 18 St. John chapter 18, is it verse, okay, let's start from the beginning. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over to the brook Cedron, where was a garden in, into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times resorted thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Who seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And as Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them, as soon as they, now this this is pretty, I always looked at this and said, wow, amen. Every knee is going to bow, hallelujah, at some point. But verse 6 says, as soon as they had, as soon as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way. Amen. So Jesus came. They, they, 
it was time for them to arrest him and to take him and he it was time for him to give his life and to be sacrificed for the sins of the world but when when the officers came to seek him to arrest him Jesus said whom seek ye and they said Jesus and he told him I am he and as soon as he said I am he it says the scripture says they fell backwards and fell down hallelujah and I think about what we just read in Philippians every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord the scripture says that there's neither I think it's 4 and 12 of Acts neither is there salvation in any other than Jesus Christ amen let's read that real fast Acts 4 and 12 I like to get the wording correct I don't want to butcher anything up thank God it's a beautiful day and if you're in Jesus Christ and you know him as Lord and Savior of your life, every day you wake up is just a beautiful day. It gets better and better each day that goes by. 4 and 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the only way. Amen. There's no other way. No other no other name that can that you can inherit the gift of eternal life from and escape that death sentence that's upon you. Amen. I want to read one more scripture and then I'll let you go. We'll go to 2 Peter chapter 3. 2 Peter Chapter 3, amen, I'm almost there. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But as long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Amen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Amen. This earth's going to get renovated. Hallelujah. It's going to be burned up with fire. Look, God's going to pour out his wrath upon the disobedient. Um, you don't want to be a part of that. There's coming a day where the wrath of God is going to be poured out on those who reject him. And we do not want to be a part of that day when his wrath is poured out upon the earth. So get right with God. He's given us time to repent. He loves us. He's not... He's not See, people are saying, oh, he's not coming. Where is his coming? Where is his coming? And if you read up a little bit further in the third chapter, which I just read, 2 Peter, excuse me, it says that there will be scoffers that come. And they're going to mock and say, oh, they've been saying he's going to come for a long time and he still hasn't come. Look, God is not slack concerning his promises. He will fulfill his promises. It's coming. And we want to be right with God. We want to be saved. We want to know that we know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bow your knee now. Confess Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. You don't want to bow the knee in the end. Amen. You're either going to bow the knee now and you're going to have everlasting life and you're going to know your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, or you're going to reject him and you're going to bow it later. But if you bow it later... You don't want to have to bow it then. You're going to bow it later. 
and then you're going to miss out on the gift of eternal life and you're going to be cast into a lake of fire for for rejecting our lord and savior god made a way he made a way for us to to escape eternal damnation he made a way for us to have this death sentence taken up off of us hallelujah and that's through his son jesus christ so give your life to christ live for jesus get anchored in christ because there's coming a day where you're going to need to know him amen and heaven's real hell's real and we want to go to heaven we don't want to go to hell we want to spend eternity in the new jerusalem in israel hallelujah this world's going to this earth's going to be renovated with fire but thank god there's a new heaven and a new earth and if you know your lord and savior jesus christ as your savior you're going to live forever you're going to inherit eternal life amen with all the saints with our lord and savior amen and we're going to live in in israel in the new jerusalem there's going to be a new heaven and earth and just it's going to be a wonderful day but they see there's a great and terrible day coming amen the day of the lord is a great and terrible day it's great for those who know him as lord and savior but it's terrible for those who reject him amen so you want you can either bow the knee now and call upon the name of the Lord and inherit the gift of eternal life or you can reject them and you're still going to bow the knee but you're not going to end up going where you want to go and we will live eternally every single one of us so get right with God live for Jesus live every day um, as if you're going to die that day spiritually and just give God the glory be an example to those around you. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Matthew 5, 16. And we love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, give God the praise all day and we'll talk to you next time, Lord willing. Have a great day.